another episode of As Drawn By Obi, actually our first episode. And I'm going to be showing you how to create different illustrations and the process through to get and achieve all that you want to achieve. So we're going to be focusing on the Joker and the Harley Quinn illustration today. And I'm going to be showing you how to I achieved all of this. So first thing you want to do on a plain sheet is to mark out the edges so that you don't exceed the edges of your paper. So I'm starting on the Joker side and that's because Harlequin is going to be leaning on him. One thing when you're illustrating is that you have to visualize what you want to achieve in your mind so that you know the best way to go about it. So I use principles from the nine head method of figure drawing to achieve most of the positions that I use for my fashion illustrations. Step one is using your HB pencil to create a foundation. You want to have an idea of where everything is going to be so that you don't make mistakes. And even if you make mistakes, you can use your eraser to make those changes. Also, I use my cardboard pad to protect the sheet from being smudged while I draw. Step two is using a black pen to outline every visible detail of the illustration. Now when I say visible, I'm not going to be drawing Joker's hand that is behind her. No, I'm just going to be outlining the parts that I can see, the parts that the viewers can see from their point of view. I also use the black pen to create little details, perhaps print details on fabric. Details like the furry edges of the slippers. And of course, facial details as well. When I'm done with the pen detailing, I can then use an eraser to erase off the pencils. That way, it doesn't mix up with my color pencils when I'm coloring. Step four is coloring, and this is my favorite part, because this is when things start to become really interesting. I start with the skin areas. Harlequin and Joker are really pale people, literally white, so it doesn't really show like I'm doing anything, but actually I'm doing something. I then use the black to color out the edges of the sock. Now this is the mesh sock that ladies wear with their lingerie. You want to make the edges really dark, but the inner parts transparent enough so that we can still see the skin. Finally is step five and here I use my marker pens to outline the edges of all the visible parts as well. I also use it to create some special effects sometimes but not in this case. So if you enjoyed this video hit the like button. If you want to see more videos coming soon hit the subscribe button. Be sociable in this period and also share with your family and friends. Would love to hear your feedback so you can drop a comment. You can also ask different questions pertaining to the illustrations or any other questions you may have as well. There we are and we're done. See you real soon and stay safe.